Good morning, friends. I'm about to go live for Unilab. I'm about to do a training for them on conflict management and handling difficult conversations. While I'm waiting for the class to start, I thought of shooting this video for you guys just to share a few tips for you on on the topic that I will be sharing to my audience today. The question that I want to answer is, how do you handle difficult conversations? When difficult conversations come to us, it's critical because that could mean deepening of the relationship or actually a breakdown of the relationship. And many organizations on earth, whether family organizations or or corporate organizations have suffered because someone failed to handle a difficult conversation well. So this discussion is very important for us to understand and the tips are important for us to learn. I just would like to share this to my private page. How do you handle difficult conversations? So that's the... That's the topic that I will be sharing with the group today. It's on the third day of the training. Good morning, Mel. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, RPJ. I have been teaching this for, for quite a long time with Unilab and many companies in the Philippines. So in handling difficult conversations, this is just a one tip that I will be sharing with you before I go live. It's usually a challenge of how what you want to say is something that is specific to that situation when you're going to say it i know it's common knowledge that you want to be prepared and you want the other party to be prepared but the challenge usually for us filipinos and difficulty don is paano paano natin sasabihin so yung question of how is a question of yung tone mo, yung manner, kung paano mo siya i-deliver. Kasi yung emotions ng tao and how you express yourself can elicit certain reactions from people. But that's just the one part of it. The second and very critical part of it, and which is something that we teach, is this. How do you arrange your words? How do you arrange the information? How do you make sure that the information will not trigger the other person and will in fact allow the person to think and ponder on what you're saying. Better yet, accept, consider, be reconciled, fix the situation with you. So yung question of how is what we will be focusing on today in this training with Unilab. And the training that we do for our clients is unique because we do a lot of simulation exercises. We don't just teach that we we actually have created outlines for them we created templates for them and today i will i will ask them to to do certain exercises and use the template specific to their situation so that they can somehow have a tool that they can immediately use with their teammates with their office mates with their family when they leave the training so the trainings that we usually do for companies are geared towards the more practical approaches. It should be a balance of theory and practice, but we enjoy teaching them the practice or the practical because it's something na pwede mong bit bitin kaagad pag uh, alis mo sa training. So that's my training day waiting for me. So I hope you all have a great day. So again, it's not just a question of what you're going to say, when you're going to say, but most critically, how you're going to say it. So I hope to share these things with you one day. And if you wish to share this with your respective companies, just give us a call. Big or small organizations, we're ready to help you because it's the pandemic, but we're doing it online. So it's easier to customize things and adjust to your situation. In fact, even adjust to your budget. So do let us know. Message us through learn at teamarite.org. God bless. Have a great day.